six marks further nursery question. Find the general solution to this first order differential equation. All right. With first orders, where you can't do separation of variables like we do in normal maths, we need to do the reverse product rule, okay? How do we do that? You can observe here that y differentiates to dy by dx, but there's nothing here which differentiates to 2, because remember the form of the product rule. The product rule uh, looks a bit like this. So you have some f dash, so you have two functions that multiply together, say fg, and you want to differentiate them. You differentiate the first term times the second, plus differentiate the second times the first. So you can see that this differentiates to this, and this differentiates to this, right? And that's the form we're kind of trying to imitate here, okay? So this y differentiates to this. It's kind of like this. That's my f. But I need to find something that differentiates to 2. But there's nothing, yeah? And so it's how do we uh, manipulate this so that it does, okay? That's very simple. We have something known as the integrating factor. The integrating factor is always e to the integral of whatever the coefficient of y is, provided that there is no coefficient of dy by dx. In this case, it's 2 dx. And if you guys want me to prove this, let me know in the comment section. It's a very easy proof uh, that this is the integrating factor anyway. Okay, so when we integrate this, the integral of 2 is just 2x. So we get e to the 2x, okay? Now, with this integrating factor, we multiply the whole expression or the whole equation by the integrating factor. So we'll get e to the 2x dy by dx plus 2 e to the 2x uh, y is x e to the 2x. Now, does it work? y differentiates to this, and this now differentiates to this, okay? So we're trying to figure out what our fg is. So what we're saying is that the differential with respect to x of y e to the 2x, you always look at your what is differentiating to what. So this differentiates to this, so it's this times this. So y e to the 2x equals that, x e to the 2x. Now we integrate both sides. That cancels. And we're left with y e to the 2x is, now to integrate something like this with respect to x, it's two functions. I mean, you guys should know already, uh, integration by parts. Now, how do I remember integration by parts? Liddy. By now, I should be getting a sponsorship from these guys. Looks like this. Liddy. You leave the first term, integrate the second, differentiate the first term, integrate the second. It breaks my heart when I see students using uv dash and all that nonsense, okay? It's just not a mathematician's way of doing things. So, we leave the first term, x, integrate the second. e to the 2x is a very easy thing to integrate, e for easy. But if you were to show some working, you'd say, look, I make a guess. Yeah, I'm thinking what happens when we integrate and differentiate with exponentials, they generally don't change form, okay? So I'm saying, all right, I think e to the 2x is what this integrates to, yeah? Well, I have to check my answer, yeah? I'm going to differentiate this and see if it gives me this. Well, e to the 2x differentiates to 2e to the 2x. But that's not what I wanted to integrate. I wanted to integrate this, so I need to half both sides, okay? So the answer is a half e to the 2x. That's just me showing you guys how it's working, but a lot of students would just write half e to the 2x. Okay, so we left the first term, integrate the second, then we differentiate the first term, one, integrate the second, and guys, these are always the same bracket. Cool. Now, without doing too much more working, that half could come on the outside, and the integral of that is again a half e to the 2x, okay? So, my answer becomes y, e to the 2x is a half x 
e to the 2x minus, now remember that becomes a half e to the 2x, which times by a half becomes a quarter, uh, e to the 2x plus c. Okay. And then from there, it's like, okay, how do you rearrange that? I mean, there's no real right answer. I can't really remember. I mean, I don't even remember where I got this question from. But you could just divide through by e to the 2x and write c e to the minus 2x. Uh, not a problem. I mean, e to the 2x can't even be 0, so it's, it's not a big deal. So, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. So y is, and we can't even combine that. Now, I'm not going to overthink it. So a half x minus a quarter plus c, e to the minus 2x. And I think that is a beautiful answer, Mike. So if you guys uh, learned something today, or if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like the video, subscribe for more further maths content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Nice.